Hello, paratroopers of 173rd Airborne Brigade. I'm Sergeant Poos, and today I'm in Pisa, Italy, to do a jump with the Italian paratroopers, the Folgore. So what you see right now is Capar. This is the Italian Airborne School where we received a block of instruction on how to rig the new Italian parachute, the EPC. So here you can see some Italian soldiers going through Airborne School for static line jumps and also for halo jumps. Okay. Pull this loop, okay, and move your number at the center of the metal adjuster, okay? Just follow the papers, okay? Capabo wants a, a number three. Just move the tree at the center of the metal adjuster and then pull like this, okay? Pull the MPI, okay? Grab the weapon, okay? And pull them, okay, forward. The front set for razors with each end. Do not extend your arm. This is prop, okay? Controllate l'equipaggiamento. Sì, mi cruziamo. Controllate il nastro di vincolo. Check static lines. Alla volta. Ok, via. Hey guys, so Airborne Community is a pretty small world. Amedeo and I, we were on the Lake Garda oh, jump no. together. Just wanted to say hi. Hey guys, it's a pleasure to meet you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Airborne. What you see is the Italian parachutist recovery bag, which is sealed by the rigger who packed the chute. So this ensures that the parachute has not been tampered with between the rigging process and packing process of the parachute and the moment that the paratrooper dons the parachute. So right here what you see is the second point of adjustment of the EPC parachute. Especially when we were back at the opening at the ramp, it was like the exhausts that were like oven heat just coming at you. Anyways, we're all getting seated right now. All getting situated, ready to get.
It's kind of funny, it's the first time I see some stray dogs on uh, the DZ. The Italians over here, medical element. What are you looking for, dude? Oh, all right. Oh, he went in some bushes or something, got a bunch yeah, of Yeah, I do things. feel like, I guess I'll just come out with time, dude. Uh -uh. <laughs> but yeah, let's look up, uh, let's look up a place. You can smell the candy I had in my pocket from the 12 mile yesterday, huh? Alright guys, so this concludes the jump with the Italian Fulgore. And uh, it's a long day, you know, it started off at 3, uh, 0, 0300 and now it's nearly 2100. You know, we had uh, one of the jumps uh, we had to postpone because of the winds. We have our last guys who are actually just about to jump right here, so we'll just keep this shot going. And, uh, jumping in the background over here just amazing timing right all right so anyways this is going to be your ending shot Oh my
<laughs> All right, guys, so now's the time for me to pin on the Italian wings onto my Army Service uniform. So make sure that the base of the wings is half an inch above the unit award emblems, just as I'm showing it right over here. So this is a poster I saw down there in Pisa. I thought I'd share with you guys. It's from the Folgore. It says, Chiunque può essere lanciato con il paracadute, ma questo non fa di lui un paracadutista. Controlla e indossa in modo corretto il materiale aviolancistico. Questo fa la differenza tra te e loro. So, anyone could jump with a parachute, but that doesn't make of him a paratrooper. Check and properly rig your airborne equipment. That is what makes the difference between you and them, between you as a paratrooper and those animals.